but I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for a, uh, a Feast for Odin. Now, this game came out about a year ago, and I think it was on its first printing. Um, I heard there's going to be another printing in time for Christmas. So, uh, and I just got it in the mail, so I figured I'd do an unboxing video. Um, this very well may be the heaviest game in terms of raw weight that I own. Um, it, it shipped at about eight pounds and it is, it is huge. It is massive. Like it's like the size of like two Agricolas, um, you know. Just in terms of size and the weight is is massive so the box is is beautifully done um let's see if i can put this on it's, it's so big that you can't even fit the everything in the in the shot i'm trying not to knock over my camera because i don't have a a great tripod here but anyway uh the box is big um, my box unfortunately got a little bit damaged when it was shipped because it was so big um but not, not that bad, and it's packaged really well. So here we have our uh, log pieces of wood. We have our stone and iron ore. And we have our, our Vikings. Some extra holders for all the cards and other things that come in the box. Um, we have four decks of cards uh it looks like b a and c and two of them with do not open yet which i assume means like a more advanced game i haven't read through the instructions yet i've only watched uh, videos online we have the occupation board here which is is, is really coolly done you have your two dice, since this does have a little bit of randomness in it, with using a uh, eight side and a twelve side dice. It looks like we have two uh, cases for your uh, pieces once you cut them out. So there's plenty of that. A a scoring sheet. Or a scoring pad, I guess. It's a bunch of scoring sheets. We have four player boards pre-punched. So if you look, I'm just going to show one player board, but it's really nicely done. It's a beautiful uh, player board with the nice uh, like Viking Tetris mechanic. Um, let's see what we got here. We have we have Feast of Feast for Odin rulebook. The Feast for Odin appendix and a Feast for Odin almanac. And let's see here. We have all of the Viking stuff at the bottom, which is, uh, I'm assuming, the majority of the weight in this thing because there's a lot of stuff. So it is really hefty. You can see a lot of things to punch out and sort. So you better be, you know, you better be really good at punching things, but it looks like it's done on extremely good quality cardboard. So, you know, it's, it's done really nicely. So there you have it. Uh, if I can fit it into the camera shot, a feast for Odin. Uh, I'm really excited to play this game, and uh, uh, you know, I I think like I said, I think there'll be uh, a second printing coming here soon. So if you know you haven't had a chance to get it or the prices are too high, um, you can wait for what will be my review in the future. Or you can just go out and buy it. It's a it's a pretty expensive game, so make sure you like it. Make sure you like uh, uh, Uva Rosenberg's stuff, and make sure you like you know the play style of this game before you go and buy it.